Yeah, that's a disappointing game for us. You know, obviously I didn't do a good enough job getting our team ready to play uh, when you go out and, and uh, get behind 14 to nothing, uh, make a terrible error on kickoff return and throw a quick interception, let them go put the ball in the end zone. You know, that's, that's my job is to make sure that everybody's ready to play and prepared to play. And when you put yourself in a hole like that, you know, it, it's hard to come out of it. Um, I thought we did come back a little bit. You know, we got some momentum on offense. Uh, we came out in the third quarter, got a quick three and out, got, got possession, went right down and scored, got to a position where we're 24 to 14, um, which is exactly what Sacramento State came back to Montana on. Uh, and we had a chance to get off the field a couple times in the next drive with an interception or a sack. Uh, and weren't able to convert and get it done. Um, and then we even came right back and drove the ball down again. Had a wide open Latulis in the corner of the end zone and just about a half a second more time and we have another touchdown. So, um, but we got a lot to work on. The disappointing part is with a bye week and with setting a goal to stop the run and get off the field on third down, we weren't able to do that and setting a goal to be able to establish uh, the offense to drive the ball and convert. And, um, we weren't able to do that enough. And offense did some good things at times. We did get to short yardage and converted short yardage. Um, but right now, we're not good enough on offense to win a shootout. And we don't have enough possessions. That's really what's, what's hurting is the, you know, we've had the last four games less than 60 reps. Um, this one was basically 47 offensive reps, so that, that's one of the things that's killing us. It sounds kind of like some things in there that uh, you've said in previous weeks. Um, just when, when you when you look back at this uh, losing streak, just what has kind of stuck out as the things that are hurting you guys the most that you guys haven't been over to overcome, able to overcome? Yeah, defensively, it's been uh, not able to get off the field on third down. That's probably was the biggest thing the other night. Because um, there were times when we got them into second and long. There were times we got them in third and long, third and 16. Um, and they converted and were able to keep the drive going. And offensively, it's been being able to be consistent. Um, pass protection, you know, we, we gave up four sacks again. Uh, a couple of them, we had some wide open guys down the field look like possible big plays. So really, those things. Uh, special teams wise, we played really good. You know, our guys played fast. We tackled them inside the 20-yard line on kickoff. We had good punt returns. We had good kickoff returns, with the exception of the of the very first play, which was you know a huge mistake. So, um, but we just got to keep working hard. I, I, I hear you say after each game, you don't think you, you don't question the effort. Um, you don't uh, you don't think anybody's quit or anything. Just uh, why do you think, just kind of defensively in some of those aspects, it hasn't been able to click to be able to end this losing streak? Yeah, I mean, some of it is our details and um, the details within the call. Uh, we had a couple of calls where we're supposed to move our front and they didn't move. Um, you know, little things like that, little things within the call that we're not executing. Uh, we haven't been tackling as well as we did early in the year. You know, early in the year we had games where we had nine missed tackles, 12 missed tackles, 13 missed tackles. Um, the other night it was up in the 20s. So uh, those things hurt a lot. And, uh, you know, some of it is they're on the field too long. You know, but you got to get yourself off the field. That's that's the big part. You mentioned special teams, Coach, uh, and why I mentioned uh, not questioning effort. I don't think anybody that watched that game could question the effort of Davion Mitchell. It seemed like every time he got an opportunity to return, whatever the situation, he was flying up the field trying to make something big happen for the Bears. Yeah, I really did. You know, he made he made a mistake early in the game um, on a pass route. He ran the wrong route. He was really upset about it on the sideline, upset at himself, mad at himself, and then came out and got back in the game and played as hard as you possibly could on every offensive snap and every special team snap. So it was great to see his reaction that way, you know, um, that he was mad at himself and was going to go out and play with, you know, extreme effort because he played as hard as he possibly could. And, um, I was really happy to see him return those kickoffs. Uh, obviously, he's, uh, he's been doing a good job returning punts all year. 
Coach, what about uh, Shelly? How is he going through this losing streak? Is he the same as he was earlier in the season? Or yeah, I mean, it's hard. It's hard at times because, you know, there's a few times where he probably had a little bit more time to keep his vision downfield and um, he's getting hit a lot. He's been sacked a number of times and sometimes that, you know, takes your focus away from being downfield. Um, but he still did a good job distributing the ball. He had the one horrible interception to start the game. He had the right read. He knew exactly what coverage they were in. It's called a hole shot down the field. He just didn't throw far enough down the field, you know, and right off the sideline, come off and said exactly that. I didn't get it down there as far as I needed to. Um, but it wasn't anything he didn't understand. He knew the coverage. Um, but he's, he's competing hard, you know. We only get 22 passes off. I think he completed 16 of 22, something like that. Um, again, it's always hard after the game for me, too, because I'm going like, well, I would like to have ran this. I would have liked to have done this. I'd like to have executed this. Um, but there is basically 47 snaps. So it's, it's, you know, getting more snaps, getting more drives, getting keeping the offense on the field, getting the defense off the field to balance out the time of possession and number of snaps is, is really what we need to do. Are you, are you pleased with team leadership I mean, in the locker room to try to get the guy? I mean, do you have that there? I mean, you know, it's it's always challenging when you lose. There's no question about that, you know. But we had a good bye week. Our guys worked hard, you know. Our players have, have had some team meetings um, where they're working hard to get to know everybody on the team and getting hard to get everybody together. Uh, I don't think it's an attitude issue, you know. Um, I think it's a detail issue, and um, you know their their offensive line kind of handled us the other night. They got after us. When you kind of look at the rest of the season, it seems like playoffs are out of the picture at this point. But does that change anything for you on a week to week basis? Yeah, what it does is it makes you just focus on this game, and we you know we got to get back on the right track. You know, we got to go out and play good football. That's what I want to see us do is get back to bare football where we play fast and physical on defense. We do things right. We out hit the other team. Um, we execute on offense. We don't make mistakes, um, uncaused errors and shoot ourselves in the foot that you get back and play good football, you know, and you look at the first two games of the year and um, we had some great execution in those, had some great execution against Arkansas, played South Dakota State tough. Um, but we've went the wrong direction after that. We haven't been able to keep our intensity and our intent attention to detail. Uh, and that's my job. That's that's my fault. we got to get that corrected. Do you do anything just to change up, just look at, evaluate other guys on the roster that haven't been able to get in or uh, see those guys that haven't played those four games? Do you, do you, how, how much of that kind of plays into the rest of the well? Yeah, I mean, we've been doing that as far as practice goes. You know, we've been keeping young guys out and working that. We'll work them again tonight, um, condition the guys that played a lot of reps and practice everybody else. Um, we have a couple guys that, that have uh, within the four game um, number that can still play in red shirt, so we'll probably see where we can get them in, uh, particularly in special teams, but some in offense and defense. Um, we have a couple guys that have already been past that mark that are red shirting that you haven't seen out there, like Stephen Ward, um, you know, um, Brooks is another guy that's, that's red shirting, Connor Ashley. So th those things have already passed for, the, for them, but we have a few guys that have the opportunity to get in the game and get some experience and some play time in. Um, and certainly if that's, if that's a way to do it, we'll do it. How Sterling, it sounded pretty scary up there. Yeah, he's, I think he's gonna um, get operated on tomorrow. So he, he has a broken leg and, you know, he was really good on the field, he's tough, you know, he's, I was amazed at how calm and how tough he was out on the field and um, how he reacted to it. It's, it, it's, it hurts. It hurts obviously him. It hurts our, our team. It hurts our defense. He was really getting better. I mean, he was really starting to utilize the big body and strength that he has and holding an edge for us and causing penetration and negative plays. Um, he was the one guy that was really disruptive inside, so that's going to be. A, um, but he will, he will be, he will be back. There's no question about that. 
what do you see in Western Illinois this week? You know, they played really well last week. They should have won the game. They were up by, I think, 10 with four minutes to go or less than four minutes to go and gave up a couple big plays to, to not win the game. But they, they got a good running back. He can run the ball. Um, they've been getting better. Defensively, you know, they're going to play a 3-4 look, and, and we've got to do a good job running the ball and protecting the quarterback. Like, I, well, I've heard that before, right? <laughs> but we do. We do have to do that. Coach, you talked about uh, some of it's an execution issue and some of the small details and stuff like that. How do you fix that? How, how do you move Yeah, I think better? defensively what we're going to do is kind of condense what we're asking them to do and try to shorten our package up and, you know, get – vertical more on the defensive front, uh, come off the ball and, and try to get, you know, some penetration and get up the field and, um, you know, limit what we're doing and do it right and do it full full speed. Um, and we did have some really good things happen out there too on defense. Todrick McGee had a great game. You know, he ended up being the defensive player of the game, um, had a lot of tackles, played ext with extreme effort toughness so it was good to see him and PJ Hall had a, had a good game too so some of the guys that are you know in there started in there because of injuries are, are improving and getting better.